It was broad daylight when around a dozen men pulled off this guerrilla street art stunt as tourists looked on. A disgraceful act of vandalism in Hosier Lane. I think it's great, you know, it's, it's graffiti taking back the walls. From pop stars to politicians, Melbourne's Hosier Lane is world known for its colourful statements and it's been painted over many times before. Now the city mayor is having a spray of her own. Idiots is one word for it. They are vandals, they are criminals. Uh, they have uh, really assaulted uh, a part of the city that's very special. Council workers began cleaning up as local retailers looked on. Down here, any street art is culture, I guess, but when you're coming through and destroying people's art, I don't think it's part of a culture. What we saw on the weekend is an act of damage, it's an act of vandalism and it's something the police are taking very seriously. But street artists are seeing it in a different light. The big names are all saying it's the best thing they've seen in Hosier for years. Dean Sunshine works with some of Australia's top street artists, many who won't paint down Hosier Lane anymore because it's become too commercial. I think they've just sort of come in and they've just done this, it's uncommissioned and you know, I think it's, it's great. Police don't know who was behind the paint bombing. And now the laneway has been cleaned up. The local council is asking artists to come back and paint again, as long as they get approval. Amelia Turzon, ABC News, Melbourne.